Uh, a surprising move today for a lot of Cowboys fans anyway. Randy Gregory, it was uh, reported that he was likely going to be signing on with the Cowboys, but because nothing can become official until Wednesday, guys can change their mind. Other teams can come in and do things, and that's what happened today. Gregory changing course goes to the Broncos instead of the Cowboys. How did that go down, J.J.? Yeah, according to some reports, there was uh, an agreement and so then his agent, Peter Schaefer, who doesn't really do a whole lot of media, is out here talking to media, talking about how uh, Jerry Jones, the relationship between the Cowboys and Randy Gregory, that that helped get this deal over the finish line. And we know that Randy Ger Gregory uh, dealt with his own uh, substance issues that led to a couple of suspensions and now this incredible comeback for him. But uh, apparently the Cowboys then tried to change something after the fact, and that's uh, according to sources. So uh, what that was, not entirely clear on, and then that opened the door. Hey, if you want to switch things up on us, well, we have this other offer out here, and it's with the Denver Broncos. Obviously, Russell Wilson doing a very good recruiting job, just his presence alone. And so Randy Gregory uh, then backs out, which is absolutely his right. We talk about the legal tampering window. Um, that's what we are in right now, as oxymoronic as that phrase is. And so you can agree, you can back out, you can do whatever you want to and they obviously felt like they were an aggrieved party because we agreed to terms and now you are trying to change those terms well, we'll show you and here we are in Denver it's funny that Denver's on the other side of, of this sort of issue if you'll recall I want to say back in 2013 if my recollection is correct Elvis Doomerville had the, the fax machine issue where he wasn't able to send in this offer in time the Broncos didn't want to take the cap hit, so they had to release him. And then he ended up signing, I believe, with the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, but now you see the Denver Broncos on the receiving end of an edge rush where this one actually works out. I think the most interesting part is you just saw his, his rap sheet in the history for Randy Gregory. It's a tremendous story of what he's overcome in his personal life to be able to get back on the field. But it also goes to show you that teams right now, and we saw this with Christian Kirk and the contract that he received, we're seeing it now with the Denver Broncos and really the Cowboys based on what they were willing to offer them. They're looking for upside. I mean, they're willing to invest in players who show flashes of it and not even necessarily the ability to do it consistently, but flashes of the ability to get after opposing quarterbacks in the case of Randy Gregory and still show out a lot of money. Now, granted, it's a five-year deal. It's really a two-year deal, then we'll see. And Denver has the control of it, like most of these deals are. But, you know, still good for Randy Gregory being able to turn things around in his life to get back on the football field and to be able to make this sort of contract. Brady, this feels like an arms race in that division. I mean, yeah. we had the Chargers stuff uh, yesterday, and now the Broncos right back at it with a move. And, and again, you've got to have, as much as you want to have all the offensive firepower as you can have in that division, you've got to be able to get some stops, too. And you've got to have the ability to rush and the ability to cover. Denver now has that. Bradley Chubb on one side, Randy Gregor on the other. You see them obviously sign uh, DJ Jones. That should help on the interior. Uh, but I, I look at that secondary, too, with the way Pat Sertan played as a rookie. I mean, the sky's the limit, I think, for this team with Russell Wilson. It's just about it all being able to come together. I think that's hard to ask of a quarterback in Russell Wilson who's coming there for his first year. West Coast system a little different than what he had, I assume. You know, Nathaniel Hackett's a first-time head coach. There's a lot of learning that's going to take place in 2022. So maybe they end up getting the best of everyone, but maybe they might be a year away, very similar to Peyton Manning when he came over in 2012. It took him a year to then become that record-setting team in 2013 that ended up going to a Super Bowl. Granted, losing the Seattle Seahawks, but still, it took them about a year to be able to adapt and adjust. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.